it's really hot outside and your bees are going to be really suffering from this new heat wave coming about here in late August. It's kind of alarming. I mean, this is a time when bees are lacking nectar sources, lacking water out there because it's drying out. You know, late summer, fall, nectar sources are over. Don't get a lot of rain usually in the dog days of August. Maybe you're biting your nails a little bit about what to do about your bees with this heat wave that's sweeping across the U.S. I've got three tips for you today to help your bees stay cool, and it all starts right now. Before we get started, let me thank you for subscribing, for giving me a thumbs up, for liking my videos, and for your comments. Your comments are always so good. I really appreciate that so much. I've got a lot of great videos coming up. And a lot of you have enjoyed my most recent videos like uh, six tips for August. Uh, you really love that video. And you really like the banana video where we did a test seeing if bees really go crazy mad if you eat a banana and then inspect your hive. And I really appreciate your comments about that. You know, I've got a lot of videos in the hopper coming up. And I wish I had a way to ask you which ones you want me to work on next because that way I could know which ones to pursue to satisfy some of the problems, answer problems that you have. I don't wanna make videos just to be making beekeeping videos. You know what I mean? I wanna help you. I wanna help solve your problems. And I've been thinking about maybe starting something like a, a membership here on YouTube, and then you have special perks. One of the perks I would love to see you have is me telling you these are the videos coming up that I want to work on and let's vote on it. You tell me which one you'd rather have. That would be a cool thing in the membership. I haven't really quite figured out if I want to do that yet uh, on membership. Maybe go live streaming to answer questions and all. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to do that or not. It's a little more work than making videos and so I'm tossing that around but we'll see. But anyway, I do like making videos to help you solve problems. That's why today's video is about a problem. Our bees are hot. They're gonna get hotter this week for most of the US. And it seems like when I heard that, I'm like, I'm going out to the table. I'm setting up my equipment. I'm gonna make a video for my great YouTube followers to answer a problem, solve a problem. What do we do when our bees are facing this gigantic heat wave? Oh my gosh. That's just fun for me to help you wrestle through and overcome some beekeeping issues. So I hope you're finding it to be uh, valuable to you to watch my channel as well. Let's get into these three tips on keeping your hives cool. Uh, you know, we want to keep our hives out in the sun. I wrestle with small hive beetle. Our soil is really good for small hive beetles. And if you put your hives in the shade, small hive beetles seem to hang out more in the shade. Not always, but a little bit more. And it's been said that if you keep your bees in direct sunlight for most of the morning to mid-afternoon, then there's less beetle activity. And I've found that to be pretty much the case. But if I keep them out in the sun all day long, they're baking. My hives are so hot. Oh my gosh. So I wanna give you tip number one on keeping your colonies cooler. Tip number one is to provide ventilation for your colony. A screen bottom board is awesome, but then all that heat builds up on the inside and you need to have some way to let some of the heat out of the hive, especially at night. You may see in the evenings that your bees are starting to beard on the outside of your colony. They're doing that for the sole reason that they're too hot inside. All the new brood, especially like the brood that is pupating in the cap cells, they need to be kept 92.5 degrees, not 93, not 96. They'll die. And so the colony regulates the temperature. So they put out an all call. Hey, we need a bunch of you hot bodies to get out of here. You're making the incubation. You're making the maternity ward way too hot. Go hang out on the outside or something, but get out of the house. Go sit on the porch. <laughs> so all these bees are forced out to uh, give a, a better way for the other bees inside to help regulate that temperature on the maternity ward of the pupating bees. Does that make sense? So, you know, how can we assist that? We need better ventilation on a hot day. 
You've heard me say before that some of the best ways to ventilate your colony is to have a screen bottom board, but to also place a little tiny something under your top cover or your inner cover. I prefer the top cover because it allows uh, the telescoping top cover to still hang over the box. Uh, where an inner, if you slid it under the inner cover, you have an exposed area. So by doing that, something very small will suffice. A penny, something very thin, something that's a sixteenth of an inch or an, an eighth of an inch, a couple of coins, some people use shims. Now if you make it too big, they could possibly attract robbers to that box, so you don't want to make it too big where bees can get in. And then Maybe not too big for small high beetle, though they can get in a lot of cracks. Think about that. You might want to use some screen if you're making a space at the top. Somehow, you're pretty creative or you wouldn't be a beekeeper, right? Find a way to ventilate that top of that box. And that'll help the bees uh, pull some of that hot air out of the hive and pull in some fresh air. That's really important. Okay, so tip number two. Shade is so awesome. Now, one of the best ways that I deal with giving my bees shade is by taking a piece of plywood, a four by eight sheet of plywood, and cutting it in half so it's a four by four piece of plywood. I set it on top of my hive, and then I put a concrete block on top of that. Oh my gosh, this works so nicely to provide shade, especially like between 10 o'clock and two o'clock when the sun is bearing down right over top of the hive, and shade makes a gigantic difference. You know that. On a hot day, when you're in the sun, you look for shade. So any shade that you can get just to block the sun from baking against your hive on the next few hot days we're gonna have is gonna be huge to keep it a little bit cooler. Now, if you don't wanna run out to your local hardware store and spend $1,000 on a sheet of plywood due to the increased price on lumber, it's not that high, but it's expensive. Look around for a big piece of cardboard and cut it to be a four by four or five by five. You know, as a stiffer the cardboard is, the better. And you can only get by with cardboard when the weather is hot and dry. If it starts to rain, it's gonna soak your uh, cardboard and it's gonna kind of fall apart on you. But I've used a lot of cardboard for a long time. So think about cardboard. Tip number three, provide plenty of water for your colony to help keep their hive cool. Now, how does water help keep a hive cool? Do you know that on hot days, when it gets around high 80s, low 90s, bees will stop foraging and they'll send their foragers out to water. They'll make them go get water and bring it back to the colony in their honey tanks. And what they do with the water, they bring it in and they drop it down onto the brood area of the cat pupae. And what they do is use their wings to fan the water, and that's known as evaporative cooler. Uh, that's something we see in the desert, in desert homes, evaporative cooling systems. It's a way of just, our, our bodies use evaporative cooling. We sweat, and then when the wind blows against our sweat, it pulls the heat away from our bodies. Bees are doing the same thing. They're going desperately out looking for fresh water, packing it in their honey tank, bringing it back to their hive, dropping it down onto the frames, and then evaporative cooling uh, the frames, and that cools the whole inside of the colony. And so it's important that you provide water for your bees. Now, the best way to provide water is to find a bird bath, and fill it up with water, a bunch of rocks, and a bunch of sticks because bees, quite frankly, aren't very good at swimming. So fill up a bird bath and put some fresh water in there every day. My colonies here are going through three or four gallons a day in the bird bath. It is amazing how much they're going back and forth, taking water back to their hives to keep their hives cool. It's been said by some that bees bring back one gallon of water to the hive per day to cool it down. Wow, they're passing a gallon of water over those frames to keep things cool on hot days. That's important. Well, I hope these three tips have been helpful for you today. These are some great ideas for you to think about. Let's ventilate those hives. Let's make some shade for them on those hot sunny days with plywood or cardboard. And let's provide plenty of water so those bees can take it back to the hive 
and keep their colony cool. Now I've got a lot of other videos coming up this week and next week that you want to be in tune with because these are going to really help you. In order for you to know about these videos, the best way is to subscribe to my beekeeping channel. And click over here in the corner or down below. You can subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. You'll be notified each time I make a new video. Also, give me a thumbs up. That means a lot. Now before you go, hang on, don't run off. Please leave some comments below telling me how you keep your bees cool on really hot days. Maybe you thought of some things that I didn't mention here that would be helpful for all the ones reading the comments as well. So leave a comment how you keep your bees cool on hot days as well. And remember, I have a lot of online courses. And I have one course right now that's on sale, how to, get bee, how to get your bees through the winter. And if you're looking for ways to prepare your bees for winter, it all starts in the month of August and September. So you'll wanna get that class right under your belt today so you can begin preparing for winter. It's on sale, so check it out at the links below. And I'll see you next time.